Hey everyone, Mark Giovanni here. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to turn a few notes into a one minute piece of music. Now, before we get down to compose, we're going to be talking about a couple of things. First and most importantly, what are the things that are going to allow us to compose fast? And so first we're going to talk about the structure and how is it important to compose fast. Then we'll talk about how to start fast and avoid the writer's block. Tricks to compose fast, a few more things. And then we're going to spend 10 minutes to compose a one minute piece of music. Finally, we'll talk about how what we just learned, structure, etc. also applies to scoring. Like when doing music for movies or composing music for a scene. And then finally, the other main reasons why structure is so important. All right, let's get started. So let's start here. Why is structure so important to compose fast? So this is the last movie that I did back in a month ago, last month. Uh, so this is the entire movie. This is the last scene. And it starts here at like our 11 minutes. And it goes all the way till here, our 25 or so. So, you know. It's a little bit more than 14 minutes of music, but uh, there are some silences in between. Anyway, the fact is this movie was uh, 84 minutes of music. I had three weeks. And so I'm not saying that you have to be able to compose 15 minutes or 14 minutes of music in one day. Um, it's not even, you know, ideal, you know, quality will get compromised somehow. But what you should be able to do or what you should understand, brother, is that the worst thing that you can do when starting composing or when having to write so much music is to quickly put your hands on the keyboard and start composing. That is not what you want to do, but we will feel tempted. It's like, I need to write all this music so I may get started just right away. No, the first thing that you want to do is to set the structure. See all these lines here? These are markers. And if we zoom in a little bit, these are basically watching at the at the scene and understanding the structure of the scene and deciding what the music is going to do and how it's going to follow the scene. Why am I explaining this when it comes to how can we compose fast? Because if we zoom in a little bit, you see, I'm gonna go down here. Let me see. Yes, see that there are some elements. Not 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 everything. There are. I'm not copying entire blocks really. But can you see like there are some elements that repeat? See this MIDI region that has this one here? See that it has like two notes and then one note. See two notes here, one, two, and one note in between. And the same thing happens here. Let me just make this a little bit smaller. Let me just go full screen. See that this thing repeats here again and these two repeat as well. This is because there's, a, there's, there's something that's repeating in the scene. Music composition is not writing new music all the time. Even in a standalone, or especially in a standalone piece, music development sometimes will require to repeat and variate then some things. And in film scoring is the same thing. We will repeat things because there's something that's kind of like repeating in the scene and the music kind of like has to follow, or resemble or follow the arc of the scene. And for that, sometimes we will repeat things, sometimes quite literally, sometimes it's a reinterpretation of something that we have done. Anyway, you get the point. Structure first, it's very important. All right, let's continue. Putting the time to set the structure with the putting all these markers and setting the structure of this scene, which by the way, this is a long scene, right? For example, just starting from, sorry, just starting from here, this one is already, what, uh, 18 to, it's uh it's six minutes of music just this section generally this will take like one at least one hour just to set the markers but it's well worth it because after that you've got the structure and you know what to write that's the other things you're not the other thing you're not gonna be composing new music all the time and it's a nonsense the music will have a structure and it will help the scene way more than if you're writing music new music all the time you'll find doing mickey mouse and we'll talk about this later all right so structure first so why is structure so important to compose fast? Because it tells you what to compose next. Let's put it this way. Because one, it tells you what to compose here and now. 
what to compose next, and you know how to reuse material effectively. All right, moving on. So number one, why is structure so important to compose fast? Tick. By the way, at the end of the video, I'm going to be kind of like very quickly dissecting uh, a short movie that I did the last week, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, it's just the, the the movie that I did a month ago, just too much music for me to dissect in a short video like this. But at the end of the video, I'm going to be dissecting a short uh, movie that I did. And... Uh, and then I'm going to be doing a longer video explaining exactly how I compose the music. So stay tuned for that video coming up, right? So how to score. It was, uh, it was a 14 minutes short and there was like five or six minutes of music. So I'll be explaining how I use the structure, not for one specific cue or one specific scene, but for the entire movie plot in a way. Okay, cool. But now moving on to how to start fast and avoid writer's block. So, so many times we overthink things. Don't. Just uh, just get this started. And, and sometimes like, but what do I write? Very simple. Don't overthink this. Just do it. Pick one of these elements, melody or direction, movement or background. Direction being most of the time the melody. Movement being ostinato. The the, the 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 moving forward element of the music or background background is just background I'll, I'll show you in a sec let, let's do this in fact let me pop up the headphones real quick let's prove this let's just write some music and with this maybe it'll be the the, the beginning of the piece so as we were saying direction moving background the easiest background what's the simplest background element that you can have just a let me see a float handle here just a sustained note Let's, let's actually write some music. Sorry, one sec. Let me make this a little bit louder. Make this track a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on. And let's make this. Not that matters, but let's go. All right, first 15 seconds of BGC. And but sometimes we have writer's block. I'm not saying this is a great masterpiece, but sometimes we've got the master, uh, uh, a little bit of a writer's block. So we started with something, background, sustained note, fantastic, great, awesome. Let's continue on top of this. Mm -hmm. There you go. This could be the intro of a piece. We've got the, the long sustain note here and kind of like a direction. So we we went with background, kind of like set the kind of the, the foundation of the music. Then we went with, uh, and then if needed, add a second or a third element, a second element or layer, direction. All right? This is, this is how you avoid writer's block and they start composing fast because sometimes we cannot compose then uh, one minute of music in 10 minutes because we spent 10 minutes blocked. And so, again, just pick one, start, you know, add a second one if so, just go with it. It's good. You know, you, the music will get better as you develop it. And then you can always go back at the beginning and change things. So, how to start fast and avoid, 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 writer's block. Done. Next, tricks to compose fast. Very simple. Obviously, the first one we have discussed uses structure, so you can duplicate sections and then variate. Number two, I recommend orchestrate as you go. Sometimes you, the 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 the, the standard process is okay. We're gonna compose some music. You, you come up with the sketch first, which is good. Sometimes it's useful, and then you start orchestrating. But sometimes, especially when you have a little bit more of experience, you can compose as you go. You can orchestrate as you are composing. That is what I recommend. The option in between could be to, you know, to create a, you can also create a very quick sketch, just the, you know, first few bars, maybe four bars, eight bars, something like this. 
and then it starts orchestrating plus developing at the same time from there. And then you compose the other 64 bars or whatever. All right. And finally, obviously, uh, slow tempos are easier because every bit takes more seconds. And so uh, you'll be writing more seconds of music with less bars. Uh, action high intensity at tempos of like 170, 180, 240, like things like this, right? Um, it'll take longer to compose this type of music. All right, so that's it. We talked about why a structure is important, how to start fast and avoid writer's block, and then tricks to compose fast. You know, structure first, super important. Orchestrate as you go, slow tempos. All right, tick. Next, let's start composing. So I'll try to compose one minute of music in 10 minutes. We are in uh, minute 10, 11 almost. So let's get started. We're going to do this in five steps. Number one, we're going to define the structure. Structure is going to be very simple. This is standalone music. Usually when we are scoring for a scene, for a movie, the, the scene will dictate the structure. But in this case, kind of like a standalone music. So we're going to keep it. We can choose whatever uh, structure we're going to go with. You know, song, structure kind of thing. So intro, A1, A2. So intro, A, A1, and a B, and then back to A. Okay, let's do this. So back here in Cubase, we're going to go to this marker track. And this is similar for every sequencer. Let me just get this out of the way. And then uh, let's see. You know what? Let's use what we have written as intro. So we're going to add a marker here. And the way I do this is I hit M. And then uh, this is intro. Great. Then at the end of this, we're going to do, let's say the intro has taken five bars. Okay, that's that, that works. Now we're going to go to bar six in this case, M again. And this is going to be section A. Section A is going to have four bars. One, two, three, four. So here at bar 10, we're going to have um, A1, we said, A1. So it's a repetition of A with a little bit of variation. One, two, three, four more bars. Here are 14. We're going to have what? B. And then we're going to go back to A. One, two, let's make this a little bit smaller. One, two, three, four, and number uh, 18 here. We're going to have uh, A2. So it's kind of like an A with a, you know, a little bit more of a variation. We, can ha we could have an outro or a coda, something like this. We're not going to have this. So now we've got the structure. What else? Let's continue. We've got the structure. Next step is going to be come up with the theme. You know what? The theme, uh, I think we came already, we already came up with the theme. It is this, this guy here. Oops. Piano. So it could be something like... a little bit but i think you, you get the point did it get recorded let me see i think yes yes this guy see so kind of like a c minor here this is f minor second inversion all right so that's it Let's, um, so this is the theme. I'm going to get rid of this guy because I think I can, I can remember. I don't have to write it down or I don't need any reference. It's very simple. So let's just write this here. So let's take a listen from the beginning and we'll connect. I messed up. <laughs> it was simple. Nice to I messed up. Here we go again. Let's make this a little bit bigger.
All right, cool. So this guy. Let's. Uh, I like to bring this in a little bit. Oops. I like to bring this in just a tad, and then quantize everything. So then I can cut here now. See, because we've got a structure cut here, and now I can copy and paste. So I'm going to move this holding option, and then I'm copying this part here because A1 is going to be very similar. So here we go. Now we're gonna record the melody here, this track here. R and then it gets recorded. I just this is a retrospective recording in Cubase. All right, let's orchestrate this a little bit. So maybe so I think intro this works. And then just the piano solo. It works great. What here? Do -da. We can bring the kind of like very soft flow down the strings. Do -da. Great, awesome. Maybe we can add some like tremolo strings here, like just like uh, here. Great. See, just for motion, I'm just going to solo this guy, but we're talking about this. There you go. So let's continue. So now it's section B. We have to come up with something different. Let's see. Okay, do -dum. so I think I, I like this. Do -dum. Dun -dun -dun. Nah, dun -dun. Yeah, do -dum. What else I did? Do -dum. Do -dum. Do -dum. Do -dum. Dun -dun. So I did. Do Get rid of this guy here, because I'm gonna record the the the, the background harmonies here. So, you know what? I'm gonna go with an arp. Maybe. So it's this guy here. There you go. Um, let's go with. Um, 
what happens with the tempo here? I did not record with tempo. Atom tom. So to do. Do do. Ti do. Ta dum dum. Ta dum. Dum. Let's just get rid of the pedals here. All right, cool. And strong. Two, three, four. Yeah. So this should go here. Let's just quantize velocities a little bit because I didn't do a great job here. And so. Maybe we can have like a solo tremolo, solo tremolo. Yeah. Ta -dum. Yeah, something like this. And then we can go back to this. With a little bit of more frustration. Again, we record this. And then we end there. And then we can bring the same. Um, Harmonies here, maybe. This guy here. Oops. Here. Get rid of this guy. Boom. I'm hearing a counter melody with viola song like this. It should be no control, you know. So. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger with uh, uh, low strings. If we duplicate these two double bases, maybe a little bit too much. Let's see. Double bases. Nah, too much, but I'll, I'll, I'll have them come in at the end. Here, sorry. Double bases. That too much, that, that too much, but it, it works. And maybe we can end with a little bit of da -de -de. on the other side, maybe. Yeah. Trying to make it too interesting. It's just uh... Yeah, something like this. Let's take a listen to this. So how how many minutes? Seconds? One. Yeah. 
like 110 or something like this, 113. All right, let's take a listen to this. Yeah, it took a little bit more than 10 minutes, more like uh, 12 or 13 minutes. Here we go, from the beginning. One more time with uh, these guys so you can see the orchestration. I'll comment a little bit. Here we go. So we've got the sustained note, flautando, and then the piano notes. So this is the intro, section A, piano, solo. Flautando strings. Flotando violins, rather. Then the same thing, we introduce the tremolos. Now just piano and harp with a little bit of the tremolo solo. And the entire orchestra. So the same thing as A1, but with the lower strings. Cellos. And now with double basses. All right. So we defined the structure first, then we came up with the theme. Then we Came up with a quick sketch which became section A, just that piano. Then we orchestrated section A and we continued to finish the piece. All right, so now we're here, 10 minutes of music, 10, uh, one minute of music in about 10 minutes, that was the goal. Well, talk, took a little bit longer. Hope that you don't mind. Then we went, uh, the next step is going to, we're going to talk about how what we just learned also applies to scoring. So let me just close file, save, fly, file, close this project because uh, we're going to be opening another one, which is this one here, recent projects, million, million. There you go. All right. Now, keep. While this is loading, let's talk about this. We've discussed this earlier, but gonna give you a specific example. So we've talked about, sorry, it's been all the, the way the entire time. So structure is king. This is true for standalone music, but what about the scoring? This is especially true for scoring. Let's see an example. All right, so this is the entire short. It is a 15 minutes short. That's like this. I don't know if I'm even, allowed to show this because this is going to festivals right now so i guess but if you know about storytelling there's a very basic or very common not basic sorry there's a very common structure which is called sorry for the messy desk it's called the hero's journey right it's uh, usually it's represented by the circle going to explain this very very simple starts here right the status quo usually it's divided in two 
this is the real world and this is the imaginary world or the magical world right this is the threshold right the point of no return usually before this we've got the call for the hero and when they move for i i'm I explained all this and I did an analysis of this, the structure of this short movie uh, in a class uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'll edit that class and I'll, uh, I'll post it here on YouTube. I promise. So just stay tuned. I'll post it. And uh, when it's posted, I'll link it below this video. At the moment, it's not there. But uh, it's, uh, I think I spent like an hour explaining this. It make this video too long. But coming back to this. So, status quo this is the beginning of the story. They receive the call at some point. Here's the 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 the, the refusal of the call. This uh, call to adventure usually call to adventure. The official call here is this where they meet the mentor. Generally, here's where they cross the threshold. It's the point of no return. This is the most important moment, the moment of death and rebirth like the phoenix rising from the ashes type of moment here's where they kind of like get given the new weapon this is supposed to be a sword i know and uh and then at some point here they've got the like the big big battle sort of thing and then they come back home there's more than this but they come back home you know upgraded as a what did i do here as a new person right Sorry, I was not showing this this guy here. So, again, status quo is where it all starts. Call to action, rejection of the call. Here's where they, they they meet the mentor, cross the threshold, point of no return. You know, you know. Here's the first um, allies and enemies, some of the first initial battles and all that. And here's the hardest and darkest moment of the hero where they literally die. So death and rebirth moment. And then they, because of what they went through in the learnings here, they, they have a new power or a new weapon, but they still have to confront some of their biggest fears, blah, blah, blah. And then they come back to the present, but this time upgraded uh, with the... Uh, they are a new person, and there's a there are different arcs to this, but we will we will not get into this. What am I explaining all this? Because this is freaking structure, and we talked about this earlier. And so, let me show you. Is the and, and this is a story, and there are many stories that follow this is structure this is structure and this is exactly what happens not always not all the points not all the all the turning points but this moment here for example this right here is let's see if i can make this well this moment here which is the most important moment in the movie is this guy here is the death and rebirth right it's a moment of crisis and it's the most important moment musically and if and if we move forward here, this could be this moment here, right? Uh, it's like the biggest battle sort of thing. That for this, this is a, a smaller story, obviously, but this is the moment of acceptance sort of thing in the in the theme of this uh, movie. That I'm, obviously I'm not gonna spoil. Uh, and then this is the final, uh, you know, happy ending resolution moment, coming back here coming back to the place where everything started but now with new powers new understanding new uh an upgraded version of the same person okay but real quick just for a structure here's so this is the beginning here's where we have the the call to action moment type of thing and here's where the theme gets presented let's just listen to it real quick So it's this theme here, this guy here, right? Mm -hmm. 
this guy here. All right, cool. So, and then as the movie or the story, sorry, moves forward and we get here to this climatic moment, the music develops into something bigger, this guy here, that sounds like this, but it's an evolution. Let me just go here. It's an evol it's a, it's just evolving the theme into something a little bit, sorry, oops, full screen. So it's evolving this guy into this as the movie moves or the story moves forward. And this part sounds like this. Etc. And then as the as the movie reaches the end here, right? Happy ending. Same thing. Again, we're gonna have the theme then dun ding, this thing. But now it's going to be slightly developed, it's a little bit more castrated and more happy towards the end, like this. <laughs> and again the theme again. So it's again it's the same thing. It feels different, but it's the I did. But it's the theme, right? It's the same thing, the same kind of a structure. All right. So we've talked about why a structure is so important to compose fast. We can reuse things in a logical way, efficient way. How to start fast and avoid writer's block got the three layers that we talked about earlier. Let's start just with one of them and then add the second one if needed. Strings to compose fast. We talked about the orchestrating as you go and the slow tempos. Then we compose the, the, the one minute of music. And then we talked about how structure is also very important when scoring, especially. And now finally, we're going to talk about other main reasons why a structure is so important. And these are the reason, reason number one, it clarifies the message at the macro level, just like what we've seen, right? At the macro level, it clarifies the message because it follows, you know, each one of the parts of the hero's journey, or in this case, the structure of this movie. So it clarifies the message at the macro level. Basically, when the music com comes in, it's kind of saying, this is an important moment. Pay attention, right? So something like this. Then, structure is also important because it feels like it's like scoring at a higher level. Sometimes we just watch the movie and it's like, I feel like I'm going to compose this. Or if we are scoring on a scene and you just react to the scene, right? You are not telling the story as effectively, right? Um, when you are scoring from a structure point of view, you're scoring the, the scene arc and the storyline instead of following the action too closely, uh, which will make it feel a little bit more old school or amateur because it avoids defaulting to Mickey Mousing when you are impro scoring that I call impro scoring or improvisating as a scoring, which, hey, you know, if you are James Newton Howard or, or Michael Giacchino, for sure, you can do that, right? But if you are starting out, uh, you are not able to see like what they see. Is like they already see the structure, even if they don't set the markers, they already see the structure, right? It feels like they are improvising, but they are doing so much more. So I recommend taking one step at a time, set the markers, and uh, establish the structure, and then start composing. It's gonna be uh, uh, slower than them, but that's how we mortals do it. Okay, so don't impro score. Uh, set the structure and then start the scoring and do not react to the scene. Sometimes this works, but uh, I would recommend, you know, setting the structure first. All right, that's why structure is so important because it clarifies the message and we're scoring, uh, you know, we're scoring the scene arc and the storyline. All right, cool, fantastic. So recap, we learned why structure is so important to compose fast. Then we learned how to start fast and avoid writer's block. The three musical layers, you know, pick one and keep moving. Tricks to compose fast, you know, use the structure straight as you go and slow tempos are obviously best. 
then we composed some music so you saw that in action and then how we just learned also apply so how structure also applies to scoring and other main reasons why structure is so important so that is the end of the video i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching till the end if you liked this video please consider subscribing i'd love to see this channel uh get over 100,000 subscribers but i cannot do this without you so again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.